It's now the second week of July and the plants have been in the ground for nearly two months. Uh, most of the plants are between four and five feet tall now. It's at this point or sooner that your plants will begin to develop flower heads and you'll need to top the plants to remove the flower heads so that the plant is putting its energy into the leaves instead of flower and seed production. When you see the flower heads beginning to develop, simply pinch them off just above the top leaves. If you're growing more than one variety and would like to harvest the seeds, you'll need to bag the flower heads to prevent cross-pollination with other varieties resulting in hybrid seeds. First, you'll need some bags, and here is how I make my own. I'm using a sheer nylon material. I believe this was a tablecloth overlay. A pillowcase or something like that is not recommended as it will saturate and get really heavy when it uh, rains and possibly topple over the plant. It needs to be a sheer nylon material or something similar. Uh, this won't get heavy with water, it lets light in and allows the plant to breathe. Make a rectangle about 1 feet by 2 feet and fold it over so it's about 12 inches square. Next, use some scissors to cut the sides, making it about a foot wide at the top and about six or seven inches wide at the bottom. Once I have it all cut out, I just use some duct tape to seam together the sides. Uh, I just stick some on the edge and then fold it over to the other side and press it firmly together. You want it to be stuck really, really well. Uh, you can, of course, buy some bags instead of making them. Uh, just run a search on organza bags on the internet and get some bags that are at least 12 by 12. Uh, anything smaller may be too constricting as the flower head grows and fills the bag. Once you have your bags, uh, select two of the strongest and healthiest plants of each of the varieties you would like to save seeds from. Carefully place the bag over the flower head and pull the bag down to the bigger top leaves. If you put a few of the really smaller leaves inside the bag, that's fine. It's not really anything to worry about. This is much easier to do if you have someone to help you do it. You want to bag your plants before any of the flowers are open. Uh, once you have your bag in place, bunch it up at the bottom and take some string and wrap it around the stalk three or four times, then tie a double knot. Uh, then I usually wrap it around another time or two and double knot it again. Wrap the string with just a slight pressure. Uh, you don't want to over tighten it and choke the plant. The flowers will eventually grow to fill this bag completely. Next, we'll be removing suckers. Uh, what exactly is a sucker? Well, a sucker starts out as a new set of small leaves that forms at the base of a leaf stem where it meets the stalk. Uh, if left to grow, it will eventually form a side stalk like a branch of a tree, so it's best to pinch them off early. Uh, they sap energy from the other leaves just like flower heads. Here's an example of a sucker that has been left on too long. Uh, it's already started to form a stalk, and another smaller sucker uh, is on the leaf right below that, so we'll be removing that as well. Remove every sucker you can find and do it just as soon as you see them. The, the sooner you do it, the better. You may notice several days after topping your plants that suckers will begin to develop from where the flower heads used to be. Uh, and the suckers will be forming flower heads of their own. You want to make sure to remove these as well to ensure they don't cross pollinate with your bag plants or drain the energy from the plant they're on. Uh, you want all the plants energy going into ripening the leaves. You may notice some of your plants are not growing evenly. Uh, these two Havana plants pictured here are side by side, yet one is about five feet tall while the other is only about three and a half. That's why I bagged the largest one to save the seeds and topped the flower head off the smaller one. Uh, it doesn't possess the kind of traits that you would want to pass on to the next plants that you grow. And now for a little more information on pests. Uh, this is a tobacco hornworm, and you can see from my fingers in the background of this picture how big this thing is. 
Uh, one this size can eat an entire leaf off of your plant in one afternoon. It's best to find them when they are really small, so when you see evidence of chewing damage, search the plant for the culprit, pull it off, and smash them. Other bugs are beneficial. Uh, this is a ladybug larva. Their favorite thing to eat is aphids. So if you see one of these on your plant, just leave it alone because he's doing you a favor. In the next video, we'll be covering the first harvest of the bottom leaves and color curing.